So two, there are two demo classes. First demo, second demo. The first demo today, second demo tomorrow. And 20 minutes introduction. Next 40 minutes, I'm going to explain this. And tomorrow, first to 10 minutes, I will give a recap. Next 40 minutes, we'll go for practice. Only two demo classes so that we can continue with regular classes happily. Now coming to first demo, 20 minutes introduction. <laughs> IT resources. Or do not feel panic with the content. This is a new, so learn new. Non IT people, as you don't have knowledge in IT level, you're going to learn IT component, so IT terms and terms, IT related statements, technology related statements. I will use it, try to understand. In case you are not able to understand, go through the video and document which I'm providing. Still not able to understand, call me to get complete information. But whatever I'm explaining today, both mix. IT, non-IT, both mix. Now, coming to training details. My name is Vinay and this is my contact number. And if you want to talk to me, morning 11 to 5 p.m. And evening 8 to 10 p.m. And I'm working consultant, senior lead consultant. The training type is basics to advanced. And duration 50 to 60 hours. And daily one hour is a training. And my one hour equal to for you two to three hours. Monday to Friday compulsory classes. Monthly to Saturdays we have live sessions. Live practice sessions. Class mode online and offline available, both. And institution provide daily live class video for 1.5 years of access. People will say we'll give unlimited years of access, but it's not possible. First of all, the institution should be there for unlimited number of years, lifetime years. It's not possible for anyone and don't run behind those kind of statements. So we are giving 1.5 years of access. Communication is WhatsApp. And emails, that is Gmail communication. Theoretical materials I'll give you for your better understanding on the subject. Practical material for better hands-on. FAQs and mock interviews also conducted. If you prepare for interviews, FAQs required. Mock interviews for those who want to settle in the company's level. And SSA is tabular cube. It is a part of MSBA and I'm taking for one hour. SQL sessions compulsory and four hours I will take, but you learn completely and prioritize nine topics. And projects, two knee real-time projects I will cover and case study, multiple case studies I will cover in the class. All the batches I'm following the same process, same pattern. Training detail, institute provides. And I'm having these many batches, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. But the current batch is 10 a.m. And my training objective, you want to work in the real time? An interview you want to face effectively. PL300 is a certification. And the PL300 certification you want to clear 70 to 80% my course cover. But 100%, I'll give you the dumps. 
if you follow the dumps, you can play it. At worst situation, you want to generate your own reports. You are a senior resource in the company. You're learning Power BI to generate reports. Yes, you can happily generate from my classes. Any graduate can learn Power BI. Because Power BI is a low code component and maximum graphical user interface, interface options available for our report generation. And the low code also that to Excel functions kind of code we use. Excel functions kind of code. And this is called DAX language code, a special language. Not like C, C++, Java, Dotted. It's a very simple language where we have set up functions. Those functions we use. 20 to 30 functions are important. Simple functions. But it is having 250 plus functions. These are sufficient. Sum is a function. Average is a function. Count is a function. These kind of functions we use in this language. Now, you can use Power BI after learning the course in these roles. I'm giving broader knowledge, concentrate. You can try as a report developer. You can try as a BA developer. These two as a technical resource. And data analyst or data scientist. Data analyst. This is techno functional, technical and functional. And business analyst, technical. This is also technical and functional role with domain knowledge. You can try as a data scientist as well. You have Power BI knowledge. And you can add Python. And you can add ML, PySpark, etc. And try as a scientist. Do not confuse. If you want to try as a report developer or a BA developer, business analyst developer or analyst, then Power BI and SQL is sufficient. More opportunities, Power BI plus SQL, more and more. These two try to be confident. If you want to try as a scientist, then only you require Python, machine learning, and many other. Otherwise, not required. Scientist is different, analyst is different, and developer is different. Developer level, more practical, sorry, more power BI components we use. So this is the basic understanding from this demo part. Anyone having any questions in the screen? Anyone having any questions in the screen? No. No, sir, all good to go. So able to understand, right? How many hours I'm going to take, what I'm going to provide. Yeah. We are good. Tools and components. So the content is really good for Power BI developers if you want to try. Sir, can you explain about case studies, please? What to explain? How many case studies? Uh, can you give some detail about case studies? Means what is that, it? That, that we will see in the regular class, not in the demo level. Okay. Power BI developers, BA developers, Report developers, data analysts you're trying in the market. This is a course content required. And this talks about project environment. So in the company's level, we will work on data warehousing concepts, modeling concepts, or modeling components, as well methodology in GitHub, so these kind of things we use in the real time that I'm going to take in the classes. Two near real time projects and multiple case studies I will cover. And three to four hours SQL, this is for more knowledge and close to real time knowledge. More hands on and real time way hands on. And you will come to know, okay, this is the way we'll implement a report. Okay, this is a place we start and this is a place we end. All these things you will come to know after finishing the projects are case studies. If you finish both, really good. If you're able to finish both, really good. And database and SQL. Three to four hour session I will conduct for database. 
SQL language because most of the companies maintaining the data in the databases. So the database operation language is SQL language. I will cover three to four. It does not mean three to four hours is sufficient for interviews and to work in the real time. So if I take more than Power BI flush will reduce, Power BI subject will reduce. So what I recommend you is learn the whole course wherever you want to learn, even we offer, but prioritize the main topics. There are nine topics. So you prioritize it. So that is sufficient for interview. That is sufficient for working. What are the nine topics? I will give you the list of topics also. Just ask your question. So are Which one? Nine That's what I told you. This I'm not covering. It's not possible in three to four hours. Okay, so okay, that's fine. You have to take separate course. The nine topics to cover, it will take 20 hours time. If, it, if the nine topics were able to cover three to four response, SQL can be covered in a week. <laughs> MSBA cubes. Cube knowledge is always advantage. So I will give you two hours, either class or video, either of the things based on the time. Resume preparation, 100% I will cover. FAQs, mock interviews, I will conduct. Mock interviews for those interested people, once the course completed. And FAQs, 100% required for your interview purpose, we will discuss. Along with the class, you will get FAQs. At the end of the class, also you will get FAQs. This is project environment related, interview related, job related. But to work on Power BI subject is required. So Power BI having cloud components, Power BI having on-premises components, both I'm going to cover. This is your subject, learning subject. And this is real time. So usually people say, uh, component learning is okay. What about real time? That is this close to real time. And this is your power BI subject, but knowledge on power apps, what it is, how it is and knowledge on power automate, what it is, how it is, that is advantage to you. So I'm covering three to four of us, this part also. Sarah, all institutions say the same thing. We cover this and that. So are you really covering it? Are you really covering it? I will show you, don't worry. An institution side live class video, a resume preparation session I will conduct. And good theory, practical material. So practical oriented training. And no need to go to other materials, just follow my materials, more knowledge you will get. And you'll be having very good interaction with me and other trainers in this institute. FAQ is also discussed. And confidently you can try after my class less than five years in power bi these opportunities and power bi administrator 90 percent the course covered remaining 10 percent not possible because premium capacity account is required we don't have premium capacity account as it is very costly so the 10 percent not possible but 90 percent admin you can try in the market support resource you can try developer 100 percent no doubt this I'm covering. Power BI and the low code language that's. Sir, what about combination? In case you are an MSBA resource, you are a Tableau resource or ClickView resource, Azure resource, Synapse resource, you can keep Power BI and try in the combinations. So this way also, but 100% Power BI subject, sufficient. Or whatever I'm giving, sufficient, more than enough. Sir, which one having more opportunities in the market? Guys, Power BI plus SQL language, more opportunities in the market. Learn Power BI strongly and then SQL nine topics only, sufficient. You can grab, sir, I'm financially okay. I have enough time. I want to learn more. Then go with Azure Data Factory or Synapse combination. Market having more opportunities on this. Power BI plus this, Power BI plus this. Even MSB also okay. But this is to add on. Your experience is more than five years, seven years, eight years. Something you want to add on to your resume. You know the meaning of add on. Extra. But primary, make it this. Power BI SQL, primary. So less than four years, you want to try and get the job. Power BI plus SQL, sufficient. No need to go to any other. What clarity? Sir, I want to put more than five years in Power BI. Does your course support that? No, no, no. Not only my course, no course support above five years experience because 
practically one or two projects you need to work then only you get modeling level knowledge designing level knowledge specialist level knowledge architect level knowledge without working one or two projects end to end you will not get it so no course sufficient but less than 5 years only my course supported and uh, you can confidently try okay any questions in the screenshot to save my time and your time i'm giving in the screenshots so i have a quick question yes please uh I'm working on uh, ClickSense for three to four years. I just want to add this Power BI into my uh, CV. Okay. So want to check a couple of things. Uh, this Power BI is completely in related sir, to sir, sir uh, could you please call me on my contact number after the session so that we can have nice spending on this. Perfect. Sure, sure. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Because sure. I want to, I want to know a couple of things as well. Your remuneration, current remuneration, experience, multiple things I needed. I cannot ask in front of everyone. So please call me, private. So we'll discuss it. Absolutely, please. absolutely. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. So don't worry, guys. I will give you proper career guidance sensations. Simply follow, and whoever followed my instruction, they settled very well. We have wonderful success rate in the market. And this is also clear, right? This is also clear. My 20 minutes and this, uh, introduction completed. I will close it. First, videos, how do we provide? Students purchase videos from our institute. Every month, minimum 50 people purchasing videos, 20 to 50 people, minimum 20. Maximum 50 people every month. Take 6 p.m. batch. Recently completed. Even for your batch, you will find a folder like this. Lab backup files here. Videos here. The checklist. So account to the checklist only I follow. Very systematic training. What is your learning order? What should be your learning order, not what is. All topics, how I'm going to cover. One by one topic, if it completed, yes, 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 yes. If anything pending, pending. Now service, this is completed guys, but I forgot to update. This was the last session for them. Service, <clears throat> extracting data, power query. So one by one, this is all topics, high level. Every topic, low-level content here. Power query, how many hours? Data modeling, what I'm going to cover, how many hours? Visualization part, how many hours I'm going to cover? Tag sessions, how many hours I'm going to cover? Very systematically, we'll continue. And this I will share with you today, you can look into. And this only you need to track. And if you click on it, you will come to know, okay, there's a current session going on. No confuse. Now, videos. Video is also same checklist order. First demo, second demo, demo overview, Power BI component, Power BI desktop, case study one, case study two. See guys, fifth section onwards, I'm, I started case studies for better understanding. Case study three, case study four, multiple case studies. And then subject. Extraction subject, service subject, data modeling subject, tag sessions. Resume preparation class, June 9th I've covered yesterday. So this is the way all videos you'll find along with your day-to-day -day progress. So no need to worry. Sir, what about uh, information? Every batch will be informed properly. Take 9 a.m. batch. Today I conducted resume preparation class. We'll notify you, Babu, tomorrow resume preparation class we have with interview guidance, kindly join. Appropriate link also we provide. And if a session completed, we'll mention like this. So video plays for so-and-so date, and the session is this, and the content is this. If you're absent also, no problem. You can understand what exactly happened on a particular day. See this video plays, video plays. What is the content covered in a particular day? So very systematic. Okay, so proper information, 
proper way we follow the classes. Uh, she recently got her visa abroad. Hello, sir. Good morning. I got my H1B project. She learned from me last last year. She got job. <clears throat> no, her H1B also processed. I did all. I did not ask her to type it. Her message is me, sir. I did all this because of you. Thank you so much, sir. And even she joined EADF in our institute. Not one two people. Many people. Anything open, fine. I will address questions like this for students. I'm fully responsible for the students. So students will ask me, sir, I want to display like this. He got a job and he's working in a company. I need like this. And they will write their formulas, ask me the questions. Sir, so, uh, what all included in the S will be? He already learned and got job. Now he want to learn Power BI. Sorry, Azure BI. What should I learn? And he's on Power Apps as well in our institute. I never forget your institute, sir. It gave me proper roadmap to settle in my career. Always, I will have gratitude towards you, sir. Learn Power BI and got job, and he joined Power Apps in our institute as well as Azure. This kind of bonding we have with the students, purely based on your learning, your progress. Efficient guys. Now, related to demo introduction part, if you have any questions, kindly ask me. Otherwise, I will continue for the next 40 minutes part. One question, this is Anil. Yes, please. Uh, this is Anil. One question I have. Yes, Anil. Uh, let us assume like uh, voice is coming. Like, see, let us assume like today I have taken some class. Okay. Uh, I was not able to clear about the concepts. In the next batch, maybe next month, I can join and continue it. No, you will get the video. So you can watch the video and you will get the document. You can read the document to get understanding. If you don't understand, ask me immediately by calling on my number. Why you need to wait till next month or next batch? Suppose I want to take a revision kind of thing. Is it possible? Videos are available, right? Okay. Videos with you. The reason for giving videos is for reason only. Okay. Right, sir. Thank you, everyone. And I will go for the next part. Next 40 minutes, what I'm explaining is very important. So we will start Power BI tomorrow, the Power BI conference and all. But next 40 minutes is very important. Without knowing this, if you start Power BI, meaningless. Meaningless. So what is that part? This is a part. Data to Microsoft Fabric. Why, sir? And what it is? See, this is a hierarchy. This hierarchy you need to know. Because Power BI is a BI component. And BI is IT. BI is one type of IT application. IT applications use data. Since 40, we have data. IT applications also available since 40. BI applications available in the market since 90. Power BI available from 2013. Our platform available 2019. Fabric available June 2023. So this hierarchy you need to learn. The reason Power BI, why Power BI introduced after 23 years of BI release? That question answer you are supposed to know. Is not the first component for BA. There, in between this 23 years gap is there. There are many BA tools. 
then why Power BI is a leader in the market? What's the reason to design and re release in 2013? And Power BI 2013, it is standalone individual, but 19, it is part of platform. And it came out of platform and from 2023, it is part of fabric. Why? That history you, you are supposed to learn. If you don't know, it is a meaningless journey in Power BI. Due to lack of knowledge, trainers may not explain, but you are supposed to know. Let me show you. This is our Power BI, app.powerbi. We call it as a Power BI cloud. I'm clicking on it. You see what is happening. Open with any account, no problem. It, it showed on top fabric. I don't know how many of you have noticed. There's a Power BI, our application. This is help and support. This is help and support of Power BI Cloud. And here, something is there. Current status. Your Power BI Cloud status. Everyone look at this. Why the session is important, you'll understand. Support fabric, this. Microsoft fabric support. Check the service status and all those things. Fabric components. What is the first component? Power BI. So, and even read this. Support for Power BI is part of Microsoft Fabric support. See, Power BI, the Fabric dashboard, first one, Power BI. And below Fabric, we are having data factory, data activator, multiple things. And I will give you understanding about all these things today. Kindly focus. So let me start with the data. Don't feel uh, panic if you're new and the, the working people don't feel bored as well. Something interesting things you will come to know today. And I request everyone kindly provide your email ID and mobile number to get today demo video and documents. Please provide. Now data. Without data, there is no IT application. So data is important. Then what is data? Anything you are able to store is called data. And we have three types of data. Structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data. And we were having only structured data till 90s. But nowadays we are having semi-structured, unstructured data also. So what do you mean by structured, semi-structured, unstructured? ID, name, age, degree, column by column available. And this is called structured data. And you find this kind of information in a table or an Excel sheet or similar applications. Point one clear. And if you see this, you're able to read student ID one, name John, age 18, degree BSc. This is semi-structured data. So JSON data, XML data, this is semi-structured, partly structured, not fully structured. Unstructured, no structure at all. Your WhatsApp data, your Gmail data, no structure. So this is called unstructured social media, WhatsApp, Twitter, etc. data. And in the current market, we are having three types of data. Knowingly or unknowingly, we are working on all types of data. Point one. Point two. This data, we keep in two places. One is file area. Remember this. And files also two ways. Normal file. Compressed file. Remember more data will compress and keep it. And this data we keep in the databases also, a table format.
get that uh, more size available. We'll compress the data with some techniques and keep in the file level. No, no, no. Compression is not zip. Zip is different. Compressing is different. Zip is different. Compressing is different. When we work with how to big data kind of applications, that the data is compressed with some technologies and process. No, let's stop with that. If you derive, it will go long. But compress the data in the file level. Now, storage area. We can keep this data in two places. One is on premises. Since IT industry beginning, this is available 1940. So within the company, within the server, within the organization storage. And 2006 or 2005 onwards, second storage is available, cloud storage. This is somebody else's storage. Knowingly or unknowingly, we are working with clouds. Google Drive is a cloud. And if you purchase a recent laptop, OneDrive, OneDrive is also cloud. And take your mobile phone, mobile phone pictures, phone pictures, local storage. This is called as on-premise. And after that backup, you will take iCloud backup, Samsung backup, Google Drive backup. This is the cloud. So whether you're technical resource or non-technical resource, you keep your data in the on-premises as well as cloud. This is called as any type feature. What do we call this? Any type. And this is called as any storage or any format. And this is called as any storage. This is a slogan of Power BI actually. Now, not available, but 2013 onwards, the slogan of Power BI is any type, any storage, any format. That's why I explained. Power BI boosting feature is this. Any type of data it can handle, any formatted data it can handle, any storage data it can handle. You want me to show? Power BI, any type, old links contain this, any format, any storage. So we need to search because it's a very long one. Links we need to find out. Okay, no problem. I will see and give you the technology. Sorry, it's give you give you the link. You can go through. Right. Any type, any format, actually. First, data understanding, you are successfully done. Next, IT applications. There are many types available. Importantly, first application category, business running. Second application category, business analysis. Even you start a company, first you require a business running application, next you require business analysis application. Right. Uh, IRCTC, Book My Show, all come under business analysis applications. Uh, just understanding uh, applications. Uh, Even you are doing online money transfer. That also comes under business analysis application, sorry, business transaction application. The general public use these applications for your business, either web or desktop or mobile, they will work. 
and the use forms. And finally, the data will be in the transactional storage. We call it as OLDB. The reason? You booked a movie ticket, a train ticket. At the end, you will receive a message. Transaction success. A transaction fail. So we call these applications as transactional applications. A storage is transactional storage. The process is transactional process. So your mobile apps, your tab apps, your web applications, they provide support for transactional operations. Knowingly or unknowingly this board, we are all working on it. Do you agree? This data you want to analyze, transactional data. It is transactional data will go to analytical, finally report a dashboard created. And this is for the management team to analysis. So those applications are called business intelligence applications. For your business intelligence data you're providing. Some people say online analytical processing applications. Assume IRCTC data available here. And today, Tatkal, how many trains having highest booking? How many trains having lowest booking? Normal versus Tatkal. This kind of information, if you want to analyze, and this is called as business intelligence information. Some people also call it as analytical information. And to convert this data into this, Compulsory, we need a process called business intelligence process. We cannot convert directly. And we need a storage called BA storage or analytical storage. And here the data presented by using reporter dashboard. This is BA data area. BA data presentation. Again, web, desktop, mobile, all the ways available. Management team will use this data and analyze it. And you all guys take an addition to convert the business data and non-business data into decision-making data like this. But you decide to use this approach and generate report and dashboard. So your role in the company, this part. Once you learn Power BI or any BI tool, so BA process implementation, report or dashboard generation, so that management team will analyze it. Everyone got clarity? Any question from this? So you're not showing interest in the company to perform this process. You're not going to run the, uh, you're not going to create an application which will run the business. You are going to create an application which will help the organizations to analyze. The current demo component helps organizations to generate reports and dashboards to provide decision making data. This data can also be called analytical data. This data can also be called business intelligence data. So your objective is this, but how, how, how is it possible? Once again, I request everyone kindly provide your email ID, mobile number to get demo video and document. In case you want to talk to me, I already provided my contact number. Kindly call me on my contact number in the given timings for proper career guidance to address your questions, concerns. See guys, once again, general public applications, they use forms, the data is transactional. Maybe the data in the on-premises within the company level or cloud, somebody else storage level. Finally, a report or dashboard is created and the management team uses this as part of analysis. And this is the operation of you doing the transaction level and this is the operation the analytical level. And your Power BI used in this situation 
to develop the report and to move to customers. So this is your role between transactional to analytical. Any questions, madam? Good. Then what is BA? Business intelligence. Intelligence to the business. To save my time and your time, I'm using the beautiful screenshots developed by us. Intelligence to the business, which can also be called decision making or analysis of the business. And what is BA process? It's a process of converting your normal data into decision making data. The data presented in the form of a report or dashboard. So business intelligence applications take any data, any type, any way, finally provide output a report or dashboard. This is input and this is output. So your objective in the company, once you join in the company, as a report developer or analyst or anything to create reports or dashboards or analyze a report and dashboards, you participate, not for any other reasons. What is your responsibility? Creating reports and dashboards or analyzing reports and dashboards based on the role. If it's a technical role, you create. If it's an analytical role, you analyze it. Then how these two are different? Very simple. A report for individual operation, individual operation, detailed analysis. And a company contain more reports. Here, set of individual operations, high level area. This is called as High level of presentation area, presentation area component. Example I will give you savings account withdraw. You can create a report, current account withdraw or current account deposits. You can create a report, but whereas here, savings account deposit. Withdraw, loan processing, all you will place in the dashboard level. Then we can consider as a savings account dashboard. So the savings account dashboard talks about deposit, withdraw, everything. Whereas here the savings account report is separate, deposit withdraw report is separate, deposit report is separate. Different reports available here. Loan processing is separate, but all combined available in the dashboard. How do we create sir, a report or dashboard? We will get the data, okay. But how do we create a report or dashboard? That's very, very important. It's not that much easy. You want to construct a house. How do you construct? With bricks, sand, iron, cement only you construct. But how do you construct it? No, no, yeah, foundation. Next one, pillars. Next one, ceiling, side walls. One by one we go, the same way, see this is the process, see the arrow marks, you have business data, this is your business data. And this is a pro layered process it will follow. And finally, analytical data you will receive. Let me brief it, very important, BA process. General public, we all the public, we use these platforms and the general data we have, transactional data. The data may be in the file or database. So this complete is one layer. And this data management understandable way you want to provide, yeah, multiple uh, way platforms available. The data is business intelligence data. But how come this data converted to understandable data here? There is a process called BA process. This is a business intelligence process. Similar to house construction, apartment construction, whatever the process, we follow the same way. I can't to scientists, don't feel panic. I'm using technical words, but slowly you understand. And daily we use the same technology. After two to three days, you feel very bored. 
first one etl process this is the first process second one huge storage area third one semantic or analytical area fourth one presentation area so scientists suggested use four layers so that you will be having a proper analytical system what we do in the first area first area level we will bring the data if data in not proper shape will transform it and load into huge storage warehouse means huge storage area so here gather transform and load and here we maintain huge storage area and es and es data historical data you will mention But complete data we never use for analysis. For example, I need only savings account data for analysis, only current account data for analysis. Then take specific data only. Add your aggregate calculations like some average, minimum, maximum, analytical calculations, top value, bottom value, etc. So specific data you take, add aggregate analytical information. That is called cure. What do you call it? Cure. And finally presented this data so cube can also be called semantic model remember everyone a separate meaningful model we will create here separate meaningful model we will create for presentation i will give you more information the regular class but for the time being it is a specific storage area with a separate design that point you keep in mind so if you want to convert the business data or any data into analytical format first layer etl layer is required this is data gathering layer simple word and this is data storage area systematic Next, require data storage for quick analysis. And this is presentation area. Simple, right? But we have multiple tools in the market for this one kind of tools, for this, this kind of databases, these kind of tools, these kind of tools. Yes, MNCs, important point. Top MNCs are extreme large organizations they use this approach as part of analysis. But small, medium people, they're scared to use it. They get afraid of. Because multiple tools required, if they want to implement small, medium companies, multiple tools from multiple companies, multiple people required, multiple storages required, and many more required convert this data into analytical data multiple requests online people everyone clear what was the drawback with day to uh, sorry initial b approach yes sir it's fine anyone having any questions offline people no but small medium people scared to use it they get afraid of and now microsoft decided why don't we give a simple solution and do you know or not i don't know microsoft is a market solution provider for all kinds of issues in a simple way even for ba also they given a suit that is self service ba suit with multiple tools so purchase single MSBA software, Microsoft first BA software, where tool one you will get, tool two you get, tool three you get. Three tools. Even database also available here. And everything you can do and generate analytical information. And this is given in 2005. 
and you don't believe guys 2005 onwards it is market leader in the ba level especially 2008 market leader guys because many companies using it and whichever component acceptable by everyone that is a leader component everyone used you can ask me sir uh, msba will get the data and use these components to generate this then why power bi why power bi because msba from microsoft power bi from microsoft in between azure bi also available that we will see tomorrow why power bi after msb or why power bi microsoft design if it is really good for the last 16 years if you see this that's why i told you it is important to keep your focus Legacy, early BA 90s, multiple tool, multiple setup, multiple resources, complex and costly. And middle is BA, MSBA from 2005, 5, 8, 8 out of 12, 14, 16, 17, 19, 22. Every two to three years, there is a new version. And from here, market leader. So 2008 onwards, Microsoft is a market leader in analytics and BA. I'm talking about this. Again, you can ask me why Power BA. So 2008 onwards, it's a market leader. But 2016 onwards, Power BA continuing that leadership. In the analytics and BA, this is continuing it. Why? What are, what are the reasons that you need to learn? This demo will give you complete clarity on that part. Let me open Gartner. So it is a very popular organization. Over eight IT applications. Microsoft named a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for analytics and BA platforms. Leader. So we are thrilled to announce that for the 16th consecutive year, Microsoft is a leader. How come, sir? MSB brought the leadership, now Power BA continuing it. Power? MSB brought the leadership. Now Power BI continuing. See, this is the market of Microsoft. Ignore about MSB or Power BI. It's a leader. Microsoft is a leader. And people saying, ah, Power BI, I heard Power BI not have Power BI will not have any market in the um, next years. How come, sir? Last 16 years it's a boss, Microsoft, and now it is boss. Boss is not having market. What about subordinates? What about successors? Followers? So don't bother about the market. Next 10, 15 years, no doubt it will rule the rest in the same way. Unless there is an extremely super component available in the market with extreme features. Learn confidently. Definitely you will get the job. It may be one or two days plus or minus, but 100% you will get the job if you learn properly. Not only Gartner, even Forrester Wave, and many organizations said Microsoft is a leader in analytics and BA. So no need to test, no need to bother about the market. Learn strongly and keep your focus on learning only. Even MSB having till this day good market. Even now also MSB having good market. If you learn MSB also, you will get the market. Don't worry. Right. Now I'll go to the next part. You can ask me, sir, MSB brought the leadership and Power BI continuing working, but why Power BI design? This is a slide, hardly five minutes, we'll close it. Why Power BI created when MSB already exists? MSBA having architecture 
engine capacity before 2004 market because released in 2005. In 2005 onwards, from 2005 onwards, unstructured data more and more in the market available. The Facebook, Facebook announced in 2004. Even Instagram and many other after 2004 only. And cloud applications available from 2006. And mobile apps, tab apps available after 2009. We are using for the last five, six years only more and more apps. And this support is not available at MSB level. MSB purely on premises, cloud is less. At that time, cloud is not available, recently added. Suit multiple tools, compulsory required. Mobile and tab friendly, not possible. Very limited data available before 2004, limited data sources, limited support. In case MSB a report you want to keep in uh, Facebook level, Twitter level, not possible MSB report adding. Average coding compulsory required guys in, to, to work with MSB, average coding. And the visible components, very limited available. Every two to three years, a new version. Market one side drastically changing, but every two to three years, there's a new version. So people ask Microsoft. Your component is really good, but current market is not suitable. So they decided to add a new component with a new name called Power BI, adding more power to existing BI. What is Power BI? Adding more power to existing BI. That is Power BI. That more power is low code, no need to write a code. Less code we need to write. Cloud and on premises both support self service B application. MSBA level, three tools available. We need to install and work on. But Power BA level, multiple concepts available in application, multiple concepts in a tool, single tool. So, which one is good? Yeah, here can functionality reduced. Sorry, complexity reduced. So Power BI is a low code application, on-premises cloud support application, self-service application, which will generate report and dashboard from the data. This is a definition given by the Microsoft. Simple definition is adding more power to BI. Strong definition is low code application, cloud and on-premises support, self-service application, generate reports and dashboards from the data. So from your data, it will generate. And announced in 2013 July, and every month we have an update till the current month. Monthly update, a wonderful feature. MSBA, not like that. Every two to three years, there's a new version. But Power BA, every month we have an update. Understood the strength of it? I'll go back to previous screen. And here, other company tools we are using. And here, MSBA, self-service BA, suit tools. You can ask me, what is self-service? If you go to a hotel, taking the token, going to the counter, getting the food, placing the plates, everything that comes in the self-service process. The same way here, self-service, everything it can do, but tools available. Power BI level, self-service BI application available. Where? This is a concept, concept one, power query concept in this area. Where concept two, in this area. Concept three, in this area we use. Three concepts in three areas. Okay. Concepts are to implement this process, reporting process, this concept we use in Power BI. To implement this storage and modeling, this concept we use. To implement this ETL process, extract transformation process, our query concept we use. So that's why people call it a self-service BI. Got the difference? MSBA having three tools, Power BI having three concepts and cloud supporting and many supporting possible in Power BI. 
July 2013 announced. Every month we have an update till this month. This is also one more strengthened feature, monthly update. Next, Power Platform. Sir, with the given spirit of Power BA, Microsoft decided, why don't we attract with other tools and give it as a single platform? So this is a single low-code platform with multiple low-code applications. The first one is Power BA, and this is given in 2019. First one, Power BI, it's a low code to generate reports and dashboards. Second one, Power Apps, low code application to create mobile and tab friendly apps. Third one, Power Automate, low code application for RPA, robotic process automation. Fourth one, Virtual Agent, it's a low code application for chatbots creation. When you open a mobile, a mobile website, a mobile level website or a mobile level app, or desktop level website, you will see in the right hand side corner, mostly in the corner. How may I assist you? Please reach out on so and so number. These are chart bots. You want to create very easily without any code virtual agent. You want to create a website or web page easily without code, power pages. These five components combinations power platform. And you find rarely now. Power BA plus Power Apps, Power BA plus Power Automate, rarely. Even Microsoft noticed very rarely people using this combination, platform components. But what exactly they are using? They are using in a different way. The different way is Fabric. This is market suitable solution. Current market suitable solution for data analysis, data science, data science, data steward, etc. operations, current market suitable with AI features, artificial intelligence features. And we have co-pilot and many more. And what are those? First one, I'll tell you a little bit. Power BA, fabric level. First component, Power BA. This is for reports, dashboards. Second one, data factory. This is for data integration. Synapse, for data storage, data analytics, data warehouse, data science operation, the third component. Fourth component, data activator, for data monitoring, data governance. So these are the four components available in the fabric level from 2013. Market suitable component for data analysis, data science operations. So you want to go as a data analyst, then Power BI is sufficient. Data citizen you want to try, it's a different opportunity. Power BI is sufficient. And data scientist you want to go, Power BI plus, this will give you no need of Python and all with Microsoft level. Data engineering you want to try, no Power BI here, data factory and all. So Power BI, sorry, Microsoft Fabric is a suit with multiple components. Those components help you to try as a data engineer, data scientist, data analyst, data citizen. And Power BI helps you for citizen, analyst, scientist role. This is about Fabric. Whatever you're going to learn from tomorrow, that is a fabric solution. Which solution? So Microsoft Fabric is an all-in-one analytic solution that covers everything from data movement to data science, real-time analytics, and business interest. Everything covered. So you're very lucky that you are taking a demo of this. And if you focus on this, really nice career you can establish. No doubt, next 10, 15 years, it will rule the rest fabric. So this is about data three types. IT applications use the data, majorly two types. A business running application, analytical application. Now, analytical applications available since 90. 
power bi given in july 2013 and it is individual till 19 19 it is part of power platform now it is part of fabric so this is what i planned in the last 40 minutes i successfully completed power bi a first demo 20 minutes introduction 40 minutes this i completed and tomorrow 10 minutes demo recap and 40 minutes a small case study we see a small practice so that you will understand where we use how we use power bi this is for practical as i told you my name is this my contact number you can reach out to me on this i am working lead consultant basics to advanced all types of topics i will cover 50 to 60 hours dedicatedly on power bi my one hour equal to for you two to three hours practice monday to friday compulsory classes saturday monthly two saturdays live practice sessions you will practice along with me the projects are case studies online and offline both available daily live class video shared for 1.5 years access provided video shared and 1.5 is access and whatsapp <laughs> communication is very effective whatsapp and mail material theory practical provided faqs covered mock interviews conducted tabular cube classes for one hour sql sessions for four hours more you need to learn from our institute or outside but nine topics you prioritize two near real time projects multiple case studies covered in the class and my subject good for real time working interview and certification 70 to 80% for 100% certification I, i will provide you the dumps and give you the guidance what situation with my course you can generate your own reports any graduate can learn it's a low code application and these are the various roles available in the market you can try in the current market and more opportunities in power bi power bi plus sql more opportunities before i close kindly provide your email id and mobile number to get demo video demo documents